definitely restrictions on a function is you cannot make the denominator equal to zero as well as you can't have a, a negative number on a radical, correct? Hopefully by the time you guys have finished this homework, you guys will understand those are the only two restrictions we're gonna be focusing on this year. So again, first step is to set the denominator equal to zero. Since we practiced zero product property last, last uh, since you practice zero product property, you guys should be able to do that. You can't take the square root of a negative number, right? So, is there any real numbers that's another constraint? No. So, here is my only one that's not, here's my only restriction, um, that it cannot be uh, a negative one. And then I have this, 4 minus x, oops, that 4 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0, because you can't have erratic, you can't have numbers that are going to make that negative. So, we go ahead and solve. So x has to be less than or equal to 4. So again, let's look at it. x has to be smaller than 4, but it cannot equal negative 1, right? Because when it equals negative 1, that makes the denominator equal to 0. Yes? So the graph kind of looks something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it works at 4. It's going less but it can't equal negative 1. So there's some hole or asymptote there. So we can say the domain is going to be negative infinity to 1 and then 1 comma 4. Oops, let me get negative 1, thank you. And negative 1 is our hole, so it can't include negative 1, so that's why we use parentheses. And 4, there's nothing wrong with it being 4, 